Hey guys, welcome back here. Let's do a shaving lecture, so to speak, tonight. What we're going to discuss is what kind of a shaving implement to use, whether to go with an electric shaver for convenience or a manual razor for closeness. Both of them are very good options for trying to obtain a very close shave a very reliable shave. Cost will often come into play. Convenience will often come into play. And what is shaving to you? And how do you like shaving? And how do you go about shaving? Many of those things may come into play for you when attempting to figure out whether you're best in going with a razor or its electric counterpart. Now, I've heard a lot of debate over the years about electric shavers and whether or not the general theory that you can shave more quickly with an electric shaver than that of a manual razor is a myth or if it's fiction? Well, I've never really tried to do any myth busters on shaving. I pretty much just accept what I've noticed through my own personal experience, which I'm going to be quite frank and upfront from my own personal experience. And I have a medium thickness to my beard. As you can see, I have a pretty decent goatee that has pretty full whiskers. The sides I shave once or twice a week. If I, I, if I wanted to use an electric shaver, and sometimes I do, those are every couple days when I feel like I'd like to shave, but I don't actually want to go through the process of lathering up, doing three passes. I want to just shave and get the feeling of having done two passes with one of these and just a good enough type job. I'll pull this out and honestly, as far as time saving, if I wanted to just, if I were a person who never wanted to invest any time at all in shaving, I just wanted to do it so that I looked presentable, this Norelco shaver would win out day after day over this or any other manual razor, a cartridge razor, or even a, a safety razor for that matter. Let's just look real quick at the setup of mechanisms with these two shavers, shall we? As you notice here, let me take the, this shaver real quick. Notice that I cover up a good, say, quarter of my face with this thing as it sits here on the sides of my face. So imagine at high RPMs, as I move the shaver, you know, at a decent, like this, trying to cut against the grain fairly quickly with only about a medium beard, I can cut through about two to three days of growth. If you think about this razor, and my first passes are going to go with the grain, which is meaning I'm going to get close enough, but not a super close finish that's desirable. And I'm going to want to come up to get more hair. I might want to go sideways. You know, obviously the electric shaver wins out on getting it done quickly and over with quickly because I can just get in there. I can shave quickly. I shaved tonight with this electric shaver. It looks presentable, but if I were to scratch it, you may hear some stubble there. There is some rough stubble left behind that would not be if I took the time to do three passes with this. I timed myself out with this electric shaver tonight 
It took me three and a half minutes to get the shave that I wanted to, and I'll be perfectly happy with it for at least three to four days, presumably. Maybe more as there's cool weather in the upcoming near forecast. And so if you're a person who wants to just get shaving done and over with quickly, you're willing to do it a little more often so that you don't have to ever spend a long time doing it, an electric shaver is the perfect thing for you. Now, it is an investment, but kind of like vinyl siding on your home, you save money in the long run. And the reason for that is, is because of the fact that while this shaver here probably eight or ten years ago would have cost me roughly $60. It wasn't the greatest model that Philips Norelco had at the time. Give or take, this would have been right in the mid-range. A decent shaver for most guys to use. Some men with very heavy beards might feel if they wanted an electric razor that they needed something better than this. Obviously, it was a good lasting razor because it, you know, I would have saved a ton of money had I stuck with it for the last 10 years or so because, you know, it's still running. I have to charge it up from time to time during the middle of shaves. But, you know... Think about how much money you would save on blades on a cartridge razor over the course of one whole year if you shaved all, all that time with an electric shaver. Like an investment, it pays off later. Now moving on to cartridge razors, which are, as everybody knows, they're they're effective and they do a great job Shaving gel, shaving cream, they're kind of go-to products. They're accessible. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive for an initial purchase. Where you end up spending lots of time later and lots of money later is the refill cartridges. You know, once you add in a couple bucks for shaving cream now and again, depending on what kind of shaving cream you use, you could be... Uh, some shaving creams like add shave gel are looking to set you back about three bucks or so for a seven ounce can that lasts you two to three months if you shave every to a couple days, you know, so you're saving money. But no one, I mean no one, including diehard electric shavers who I met that have used an electric shaver every day for their entire life of having to shave, even they will roundly swear up and down that they sacrifice a little bit of closeness to save money and convenience. Now, yeah, that being said, why might you want to shave with a normal razor? I personally really like shaving cream. I have seven or eight different Barbasol shaving cream cans here in my bathroom, a fairly small bathroom, a can of Edge that I showed you, and some other kinds of newer non-aerosol shaving creams. I love the luxuriation process. I love getting out of the shower. I love shaving. It's a fun, therapeutic exercise. It's much more therapeutic to use a regular razor, the shaving cream, the invigorating smell of the cream. Usually most types of shaving cream have a great scent to them. I like the way I smell after I shave. And that keeps a lot of men in that shaving system. And with that, help. It's even a nostalgia thing for me. I remember growing up as a little boy, we lived in a pretty normal home, and I remember every day my dad shaving with Barbasol shaving cream. I looked forward to that in the morning. I looked forward to that smell. I looked forward to the watching it. It was just the normal smell that I still associate with that particular home that I grew up in. So, 
for some users, you know, a razor's just the best option. And electric shavers, last but not least, I met some people that said they've tried to do it, they've wanted badly to get good at it, they've tried it, but even after dedicating a lot of time to using the electric shaver, they get irritation on their face that they can't handle, or they just don't want to sacrifice the closeness, uh, the convenience, the saving money to them. You know, it isn't worth what they consider a stub substandard shave, and I get that because personally that's why I don't use an electric shaver all that much. I would have gotten a much closer shave tonight by using a uh, regular razor, lathering, doing two, three passes, but I didn't. It's Saturday night. I want to watch some college football. I got things I'd like to do, and I don't want to spend 15, 20 minutes shaving. That's all a half time or more. All right, so these are just things to think about as far as shaving. Uh, if you like this video, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the ring the bell and, and subscribe. You'll get more notifications about when I go on YouTube for anything. I upload a lot of different videos on a lot of different subject matter. So stay tuned and we'll have more to think about. Thank you from tonight. God bless you.